Well, I was very fortunate where I grew up, which was in suburban Philadelphia. And so in the early 60s, there were sports programs for girls and women. Uh, in high school, I was able to play sports. When I went to college, the same thing. And that was 10 years before Title IX. Most of my friends didn't have those opportunities. And so as we went through both our, my college career and then on into the profession, uh, it, that became a very important thing because I knew the benefits that I'd felt when I did it. And I wanted young girls and people like Sue to go on and have those same opportunities. I think for me, I, I directly benefited from the work her generation did. And when I was in high school, Title IX was enacted. Gave me an opportunity to compete both on a girls and a boys team that got me to UCLA and uh, really forged a path for me that laid a foundation for an experience that was extremely special to be able to compete at a high level on teams and how that affected my internal language as a young female and set a path for me as a teacher and a leader and an influencer, uh, all because of Title IX. And so in a way I've drafted off of her mm -hmm. and her generation. But, but I think it really is important also because a lot of the things, because I was pretty successful as, a, as an athlete in those years, I think that just said to me, you can be successful with whatever you do. And so I think that was the lesson that I took from it, and, and along with all the enjoyment. Well, I think also when you think about sport, uh, what I benefited from in sport is it demands excellence. Uh, sport and excellence doesn't really know what color your skin is, doesn't know how much money is in your pocket, and it's very demanding. And so student athletes that compete, uh, they have a set of tools that they bring in the corporate or the educational landscape that puts them ahead of their peers. And if you're paying attention along the way, you can utilize those uh, as you go into your career once you're done competing in high school, elementary, college. I, I think overall, I think on a personal level, is this idea that you can really do anything. And um, I fell in love with coaching, but more importantly, I fell in love with the idea of sustained excellence. And I learned that in athletics. And so for me, it was trying to expand the influence of athletics. So being able to be a part of programs that improve and enhance more opportunities for women, uh, partnering with huge influencers in this country uh, that I wouldn't normally be able to partner with because of my involvement in sport. So sport was a connector, it was a confidence builder, and it was an influencer as I went on beyond college and my career as a coach as I now get into corporate and educational leadership. Yeah, and, and I think that, um, you know, I stayed in, in the athletics area in, in colleges and in higher education. And I coached for a great many years. I coached for probably 30 years. And the first 20, um, well, all, well, all of those years, it was just so great to see what young women could do. And, and those are, some of them are my closest friends, students who graduated and I hear from them all the time and who have gone on to Olympic involvement as well as teaching and coaching other places and some just for, for interest in, in their, their own recreation. And then after all of those years, I was able to move back. Uh, I, I moved into athletic administration. And so even though I had been working with women almost exclusively for most of many of those years, other than in the teaching realm, I was able to extend that to working with men. And I think that working in the co-educational setting, uh, particularly in, in higher education, it, it was able to, I was able to see a lot of benefits from how both men and women responded in many ways to the same things and in some ways very differently. And that was, that was a revelation as well. And we have fought for 40 years, believe it or not, when that piece of legislation was passed in 1972, it is now 41 years and periodically an attack comes and I think I, I go back to uh, sort of a I'm, I'm a history buff and I go back to Roger Baldwin's sta a statement that no fight for civil liberties ever stays won and I think that's absolutely true in athletics and I, I, the thing I do worry about slightly is that young women don't always see that this wasn't always this way and that it will always be that way. So they need to, to know that they're the generation. And, and people like Sue give me great optimism, give me great hope because she got the message and now she will pass it on to, to others. And I think also it's a, it's a great signal that Title IX has been successful because you have a current generation that doesn't fully understand that it, didn't, it wasn't always this way. But at the same time, 
we want both men and women to be mindful that our work is not done. And I just, I can't wait for the day that we can have a world, a global environment where men or women are treated equally so we can talk about the nuances about how men and women are different. And it's not a good or a bad, it's just a different. But Title IX has been a huge segue for all of us, uh, men and women, to be able to reap the benefits because it's about access and opportunity. That's the law. And for us to live in a country where we have a law that protects us, uh, to me, how could you not be hopeful? I'm hopeful. And, and, and wouldn't it be nice if we didn't need the law? That's yeah. what we want to get. We want to get beyond the law to where it's just so natural and no one ever questions that it's the opportunities are there for everyone. And not everybody in the world has those opportunities. Countries out there that are fighting for those opportunities are women out there in other countries that are fighting for opportunities to be able to just go out and participate and be active because we know active females, active males are going to live longer. They're going to graduate from college and high school, better chances. They're going to have greater uh, confidence in their life and what they do. So the benefits of athletics, both men and, and women, are, are really profound.